Hey everybody, this is James Rowney once again for a brand new vlog from Home and Beyond. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon to be notified when I upload a brand new vlog or video. You can also follow me on Instagram at James George Rowney. And yes, the Dennis the Menace apron is back for the third time in a row. Because today, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own two ingredient pretzels. Now the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius and for those who've got gas ovens, it's gas mark six. Now, if any young viewers are watching this, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Make sure you get a grown up to help you to do this bit for you. But before I start, have I cleaned the services? Yes. Have I washed my hands? Yes! All done and ready to roll! Now, first of all, we're going to do exactly like we do with the two ingredient pizza dough, like I did in one of my previous recipes. But there is a slight difference to this. You'll soon see why in a minute. So, let's start off with the uh, Greek yogurt. And once before, it's one cup. I'll just stir it up until it's all nice and thick and it's ready to go in your cup. You get your flour Put that cup to one side. Flour. Once as before, we'll just mix it, mix it up until it gets a nice crumbly texture. And don't forget to go through all those nooks and crannies until each and every part of the yogurt is completely covered by the flour. Starting to look a lot like a dough ball now. One side. Put some flour onto the counter. Just like that. Before I flour up my hands, just tip the dough. Right in the bowl. There. Look at that. I don't have much uh, flour in this, uh, much flour left in this bag. Should open a new bag at some point. The next few recipes, I'll just uh, put some more flour in it just to. make it more easier to knead up. Just knead it out. Done. Or into a bowl, you should have something that looks like that. And then what you do is you just get your, your butcher knife and there you cut it into eight pieces.
Now, as I said before, make sure you get a grown up to help you with the, uh, with the cutting of the dough because knives can be very, very sharp. So if I put the, uh, the eight pieces to one side, actually uh, leave seven on one side. I'm going to use this uh, piece of the dough. What I'm going to do is, once I get enough flour on it, I'm going to roll it into a, a sort of a, a long sausage shape. And once it's long enough, it, it'll be good enough to turn it into a pretzel. Should have something like that. Now I've just set up a uh, baking tray, so I'm gonna put it over there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing again with the rest of the seven pieces of dough. And once you've done your first uh, batch of pretzels, you should have something that looks like that. Look at that, and it's nearly ready to put into the oven because we still got a few things to do. Now what I prepared earlier, is I cracked open an egg, and just used the, uh, the egg to mix it all up. And what we're gonna do is, we're going to, we're going to cover the pretzels by using this brush. And what is that exactly? Because once you, uh, Paint the pretzels with the egg. It'd be easy to put the salt on. And when it comes out of the oven, you can get great results. out it gives the pretzels a lot more flavor now the first batch is now ready to go straight into the oven there we go Put 20 minutes on the clock there and now I'm ready to do the next two so the second batch of pretzels are ready, with only 12 minutes to go. But first, it's time for me to clear up this mess. There we are, all clean. Oh, and just as well, the first batch is ready. Oh, I get a lot of these. Oh, and they're still a little hot though. So make sure that you uh, 
leave them to cool for a bit before they're ready to eat. And just put my second batch on the bottom shelf while the, the, uh, the first batch was still cooking. And I'll just move them onto the top shelf. And there you have it my friends, now that the final batch of pretzels are out, this is the final product. Now the reason that I added the, uh, the egg on top is that it actually makes it look nice and bready. <laughs> oh, me and my own jokes. And that my friends is how you make your two ingredient pretzels. So I'll just pop those down there. So, that's James Rowney, signing off for the day. So, until next time, either a new recipe, or even a new vlog, see ya! Or in this case, Bon Appetit!